away. Oh, this is going into this next message, honey. Because if you can walk away from someone over something as trivial as that, imagine what else a person could do. Okay? This feels like a grandmother energy coming out. Okay, grandmother, we about to get it popping. Because I'm hearing the energy of that's not your, like, but you know when something is not. But anyway, because <laughs> I'm hearing, but anyway, baby, this frequency that you have shifted yourself to, you keeping your boundaries, stick to it, keep going, keep flowing. You're doing things that I wish that I could have done. You're doing things that my mother wished that she could have done. You're doing things that our ancestors wish that they could have done. You're able to say no in settings where we were too afraid to say no in, or we knew if we would say no, that we would be off. You're able to create things that we were creating and people were stealing from us, but you can create it and have your name on it. You have so much access that we didn't have, and I want you to take advantage of that access and it's a legacy that you need to be leaving with this access from your point of view because you're the one who has the expansive point of view when it comes to our lineage. Others, I, I can't trust them with the story. And if you call on me, I will give you the information to write down. All you have to do is to remove your pride, remove what you understand Call on my energy and you need to be away from everyone else and everything else. Go into nature and connect to me and I will give you all the information that you need and what you seek. But you need to be in a space that's quieted outside of nature. And take them Bluetooth headphones out of your ears so much. That's affecting you and that's affecting you and how you hear and listen. Every time you hear that ear ring and that is not me talking to you. It's the electromagnetic fields that's going on and it's transforming different aspects of your brain. We didn't have all that back in my day. But also back in my day, we used to build stuff. Y'all don't know how to do that no more. What can be done to help create that even more at this time? It's something that you need to be doing and creating to preserving something of the past that's very instrumental to keep from the extinction of humans moving forward. Because as we think about how each being goes through extinction over time is because they lose parts and attributes of themselves and they lose the functions of their brain and they become dependent upon something else. And when you become dependent upon something else and then that thing becomes destructive, then you start to destroy each other because you don't understand anything outside of that. 1,000 years, there will be a time reset. Nothing is happening for no reason at this time. So every time you find yourself getting, whoo, sit back. Do not fall into the hands of what they want you to feel. Every time they want your energy to be aroused, you need to get grounded. Every time they want you to be grounded, you need to be aroused. You need to know the difference. You need to do the opposite of what you've been doing. I'm hearing something about a color TV. Something about the pixels in the color TV. Something about the day when they first broadcast in color TV. Something about that date. Hmm. Maybe one of y'all can find it for me. Whew. Hey, everyone. My bad. Look, that was just some channeling. Hold on. Whew. Okay. Grandmother, what's up? 
What you got for your babies? It's a it's a season of awareness. <laughs> it's a season of awareness. Trust your intuition and what you feel. You don't need to have something outside of yourself to understand the direction and the flow of something. You already know. Just the same way of how you can go outside and put your finger on your your tongue and put it in the air and feel the wind and you can gauge the flow of the wind. You can do the same thing with other areas of your life. Don't become too dependent on something else or anyone else. Really be building your independence in the midst of collective energy. Build your independence in the midst of collective energy. How can you follow the flow of what's best for you and when it's best for you? Thank you, Pooh. June 25th, 1951. June 25th was mentioned in a reading a long time ago to, to pay attention to this year. That sounds so... It sounds familiar. <sighs> Grandmother... It's something of you need to preserve. You need to preserve something until before it's in, instinct, not instinct, extinct. You need to preserve something before it's in. I keep saying instinct. So it's something that's instinctual. So something that does something naturally. It's a living thing. Okay. So there's some type of living thing, living, creating thing, something that helps create. It helps build something that needs to be preserved to keep from extinction. To keep from, if it goes out, all you have is the fake stuff that you can use and create. You can't, you don't have the authentic. Everything is created and like false, you know? Because the original is all gone. I'm hearing who ate the sun. The sun even feels different on you than what it felt on me back in the day. An increase of cancer, skin cancer. It's also in some of, because of the lotions and the UV rays. So it's something about using a natural skin protectant at this time, because I'm hearing shea butter, cocoa butter, using a natural skin protectant during the summertime. I'm here. I'm hearing the, the skin so soft. I'm hearing skin so soft. I'm hearing skin so soft. <laughs> I'm hearing skin so soft. <laughs> Somebody grab a stick, get some skin so soft. <laughs> she sent me some. Oh, she let me say it. Okay, Look, this grandma is respectful. She let me say what I want to say. Look, somebody sent me some, okay? <laughs> There's something about protecting your skin at this time, though. Like, I'm seeing homemade things being made up, like.
A lot of y'all started a garden, like she said, to start a while ago. Because y'all remember when the grandma message was saying, start planting stuff some months ago. And a lot of y'all heeded that. And you've been doing that. And she's saying, good job. Like, so this could be. And now this makes me think of what Lindris was saying in Discord um, in regards to the seeds. That just popped in my head. Period, Lindris. Period. I'm not saying nothing else. That's all I'm saying is what I just said. I ain't saying nothing else. You got to be in Discord to see it. <laughs> King of Pentacles coming out with wealth, business, leadership. So, yeah, this grandmother is definitely saying you need to be the leader over something at this time. Um, you need to be the lead creator over something at this time. It's like you've been tasked with something and you may have even been trying to make something else work. And it's like you find yourself continuously coming right back to this place. Wanting to do all these things, you find yourself coming right back to this place where you were at all alone, okay? And it's something about you needed to just take it serious and get something planned out and mapped out at this time because this is where your prosperity is gonna come from. And a lot of this message, you know, a lot of these messages lately have been on you standing up in your authority energy. And this feels like it's connecting to that grandfather message because didn't that come out yesterday in the grandfather message? It's in the membership area now. But it was like you being the authority over something, like you resting in that. So you don't have to be, what someone else is or was that in the rejection videos in one of them but you don't have to do the same thing as another person you have your thing that you do someone else have the thing that they do and you build from there you network from there so this process is like working on building and being the best you the lover's energy coming out that's contract energy as well but that's partnerships. So you identifying and finding different, like some of you all, it may be something that you need to have a partner to do something with you. And the reason why it hasn't gotten to where you want it to be at because you hadn't found the proper partner yet or you haven't vetted the right partner from like the right energy or the right perspective. And it's just like, don't look for someone who has the same strengths as you. Look for someone who has strengths that you can learn from. Never feel threatened being around other people who are dope in their own right. You want to surround yourself with more people who are amazing. You want to surround yourself with more people who are winning. Okay? Surround yourself with more people who are winning because you'll start to either pick up on their mannerisms and their energy or you're going to fall off because you don't have the strength to do it. Okay? But this is giving the vibe of you partnering up connecting to the energies that are doing something and you're going to find yourself being in that space of doing something this isn't even just the phase of like gathering information the tower card and the seven of um wands coming out this isn't even the aspect of like gathering information this is giving the vibes of like Tearing down this wall of judgment that you may have had in a certain situation or space. And realizing the flaws of it. But it's like in you realizing the flaws of it and you redeveloping from it, you come out smoother, you come out stronger. But you definitely walking into this space of being aligned and your grandmother's energy is saying, as long as you stay aligned with yourself, who you are, what you have to offer, how you have to offer it and when you have to offer it, you'll never be lost. You'll never go wrong.
you'll never go wrong. And it's something about you being put in the path of a new partner. Like, and I'm hearing it's an unlikely partner. This is someone who you may have not thought that you would be working with, but y'all may frequent a place together or be in a similar place together. And, you know, they reach out and be like, you know, hey, I was wondering if you want to work on this together. And you're just like, I didn't expect this, but it's just like y'all both were led to be in the same place together for y'all to branch off and work on something together. And that comes from you basically following, like doing what you were called to do. So being in that alignment, but both had to be in the alignment for it. From frequenting a coffee shop or, you know, working at the same job, being in the same group, having the same friend group, whatever the case is. And this is why I'm also getting... Put that phone down when you are walking in public, walking around like this. Put the phone down and look around. Put the phone down and look around. Because you could be missing out on some amazing people that you needed to make eye contact with. That if you made eye contact with them, so many things would be shifted. You're walking around with headphones in your ear. People can't even speak and say hi to you. Back in my day, that's how we met friends. That's how we met people to play cards with. That's how we met people to go do different things. We talked to each other. We nodded at each other. We walked into the cafe. We spoke. We knew each other's families. It was a community. And this is something about you needing to have community, building community, being the community that you desire. So if you've been like, oh, I wish we were, you know, had this like back in the day, you can. Are you being what, what, what was back in the day? Or are you participating in what caused the shift? Take them headphones out your ear, put that phone in your pocket, unless you're looking at it for the GPS for walking to where you need to go to. Nod your head at people as you're walking. Say hi. Look around you, smell the air, look at the birds in the air, pay attention to the butterflies. Forty-four eighty-eight. That's double energy. It's something about getting rid of distractions and becoming the community and the energy that you have wanted that you desired be a listening ear to others don't expect to be the only one talking be open to hear other people talk co-create Unless you want to create test tube babies. Okay? Unless you want to create test tube babies. Co-create. Ace of Pentacles coming out. This is a lot of opportunity and like you being in like this next phase of what you're walking into. Know that you'll get there fast. It's, it's something about if you want to get there, go alone. If you want to get there quicker, go together or something like that. I'm hearing it's something about you just making the right moves. You being connected with the right people. You being in the right spaces. So if you're in a space that's full of like this energy of prosperity and good energy, your life is going to connect to that because you're connected to it. You get what I'm saying? So if you don't have that, you need to be seeking out a space where you can get that type of energy from. Some will see that as being, oh, there's an energy vampire. We all are an energy vampire in some way, but do you give energy back? Or do you just take? That's the difference. Do you just take energy 
or do you take and give back? That's the difference. It's called equal exchange. It's called balance. Mutual connection, co-creation. There is nothing wrong with that. It has to be an equal exchange though. And the problem is that there's not, I mean, and the thing is when you give, you don't want to give with the expectancy to receive something back. That's the one thing. But just know that for co-creation to happen, you both want to be active participants in the energy. See people, start paying attention to people for their strengths. And that goes into when we were talking about the reading the room and that last message. Like, one thing you need to learn how to do when you meet people, you need to be paying attention to seeing what are their strengths. That need to be the first thing you start to analyze about them, of, of learning, okay? When you meet that person, huh, what are their strengths? What do they do well? Don't look at what you don't like about them, what you think they thinking. Don't 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 pay attention to that. What you pay attention to is what's going to grow. What you pay attention to is what's going to expand. Okay? You want to expand upon on strengths because that's going to then affect the energy that you put out there, okay? So everyone that you meet at this time, you need to be identifying their own personal strengths. It's like you becoming a people collector. This is what your grandmother's energy is saying right now, becoming a people collector. So learning the strengths. This person is an amazing writer. This person is an amazing speaker. This person has an amazing like sense of boundaries. Okay. And with you understanding that it's like you understand the energies of what to be around and things of that nature when you need it. If I know I need help with boundaries. And I have a friend who's horrible with boundaries. Why in the world would I be around that friend when I need to be around something that helps me with boundaries? Are they going to be able to help me? Huh? All the things that... You may have been told are like negative ways to views and look view and look at things are all the things that the top percenters do. And a big reason for that is because if you are moving as an individual, it's harder to get to certain spaces. Come through 911. And that's about not selling your soul. It's like it's harder to get to spaces when you have this individualistic mindset. I got here by myself, F, F every, everybody, blah, 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 blah. No one at the top got there by themselves. No one. But if they brainwash your brain into feeling that, and you start internalizing that you don't need anyone, you're going to unintentionally push people away. Because you brainwashed in your head, I don't need nobody. I got this, da 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 da. But the reality is, is that you need other energies and people to co-create with. That's the that's the principle of nature of life. Unless it's on some test tube baby stuff, okay.
I'm enjoying this reading. Hmm. If y'all haven't already, make sure y'all subscribe to my new channel. It's the pinned comment, okay? It's where I'll be putting some actionable steps that coincide with like the readings and conversations and things of that nature. Um, and once we hit 1K over there, I'll begin posting over there. All right, we have the High Priestess coming out. <laughs> I love this. This is a strong grandmother ancestor message. That's funny how the Five of Swords came out twice because I saw it. It was at the bottom before I started shuffling and the fact that it came out again. So it's like it definitely was supposed to be there. Um, and both of these are Aquarius energies as well as with the High Priestess. I like to add in like Pisces energy as well. Um, it's not about where you came from. It's about where you're going. But it's also something about as you receive more details and things about the secrets of the world, you are responsible for them. So whatever your brain has been like ingrained with or what you've learned, you are responsible for that information, whether you live in it and utilize it or not. Okay. So it's like, once you get this, this, this like the matrix energy, once you get the energy of the truth, you have to operate in that energy. You can no longer be, um, in the other aspect. Now you can still, enjoy certain aspects of the matrix and things of that nature but you have to be aware of each movement because you have a different level of understanding a different level of responsibility okay and with great information comes great responsibility and it's like with this esoteric energy this sacred knowledge like you've been obtaining a lot of sacred knowledge lately and it's been affecting your dreams it's been affecting your sleep but in a way where Things are always moving, you know, it's like it doesn't stop. It's, it's always moving. But this is not in a bad way. This is in a way of you see things. Some of y'all been seeing things before it even happens. But most times it's like the things that happen in your dreams are just coinciding with the spiritual world and the waking life. Like to be um, a guide to help you for when it comes to like what you're creating, what you're developing. So the information from your dreams is like it's giving you details of what you need to be investing in, what you need to be doing. OK. Because that's when your your spirit is most open to receive because you're not around all this other stuff around you that's just taking away your energy and all that other jazz. Right. You're you're rested. So your spirit is just having fun in the spirit world. Okay, pillow talking. But with this, know that you'll also understand that there's people who understand the truth of life, the truth of when it comes to the way of life, how things are done, when it's done. And some people use it, you know, just for their own advantage. So you need to understand the difference of when something is being used just for the advantage of one or if they're using it to enhance other people around them, okay? So keep your eye on that. Your spirit is always going to be able to help you kind of like see things more. You're going to feel like you're going to be able to see through people. Like that's what I'm really getting with this grandmother energy of like you getting this x-ray vision vibe of like being able to see through people spiritually. And that's what this high priest is. You'll be able to see what level of consciousness they're on, okay? Because, you know, the high priest is all about the balance of opposites. So think about with the um, Kabbalion and the principle of opposites. Everything is on the opposites. So you'll be able to understand the energy that a person shows off on the outside. The energy is going to be on the inside. And what op you're going to be able to tell opposites when you come to opposites. OK, and opposites are not you need to understand opposites. You need to have opposites in your energy to help you with alchemizing, but you want to have boundaries with those opposites because you don't want the opposite to be able to come in and shift it so that then now you are on that end and they're on the other end of the frequency. So it's like you understanding how to um, incorporate the opposite energy into what it is that you do. And that goes into the alchemizing of what it is that you're creating. 
I hope this is making sense, y'all. I feel like my brain is just... <laughs> It's going. Oh, grandmother energy. The time has come to get a new book. Because I've got the vision of going back to the library again to get another book. Okay. Thank you for the super chat pool. It's time to go back to um, the library to get a new book. And the thing is, you need to allow yourself to just be guided, okay? No one can tell you what to get. Allow yourself to be guided to the row. Allow yourself to be guided to the aisle, I mean, the aisle, the row, and all that. You're going to find the perfect book, okay? You're going to find the perfect book that's going to help guide you into what you're creating next. I'm hearing her say, I don't want to hear no, but eh, eh, eh. follow your spirit. Okay. It's Glendia. Thank you, Pooh. Like, I had to make sure I said your name. <laughs> my eyes over here, for some reason, through this channeling, is making my eyes go like it's doing some weird shit. Um, your grandmother is saying you're doing so good with connecting more with your intuition keep connecting with it and it's gonna come by you removing little things one little bit thing at a time okay so you know some of y'all y'all you know you may have only trusted by watching the weather every morning before you left out trust your intuition on what to wear when you wake up huh what should i wear what should i put on what is you know do you have because the weather be lies sometimes okay I'm hearing your grandmother's energy of just like trusting yourself more, connecting like that's going to help you start building your intuition and trusting your intuition more by you putting yourself through those different types of tests and things of that nature. By you putting yourself through those different tests. different deck we haven't done this deck in a minute grandmother we gotta break this deck in we haven't done this deck in a minute hey sophisticated pooh come through with the confirmations The moon coming out. Uh, we had the moon come out on the other day when we had pulled as well. This is the cycles, the cycles of the moon. With the next new moon, we are doing a guided meditation. And this is the guided meditation that will bring increase to you. So if you're in the Butterfly School of Transformation, you have access to them. Um, Butterfly School of Transformation registration closes on Saturday. If you're not, you can purchase a seat a la carte as well. This is making me think of that with these moon phases. So, because with this next moon phase, on sidereal, it's a certain placement that's happening. And this is making me think of that with the new phases. Because it's gonna be conjunct with Jupiter. So this shedding that you've been doing, this recent shedding season, it's like coming to an end. You're about to come to a space where it's like no more cutting off. Like you're not going to need to cut off any more energies because all the energies that need to be cut off is going to be cut off and you're strictly in the energy of growth. You're walking into a season of growth. The next couple weeks, you're really going to be seeing a lot of indications of it. You're going to be seeing animals that you haven't seen before. Um, I'm seeing black feathers, okay, black birds, black birds with red wings. Um, you're going to see a hummingbird, a yellow butterfly, someone's going to be seeing a cute little toad, like a froggy and a toad, like it's going to be a big one and a small one. 
great fortune and prosperity if you if you're the one that's going to see that frog energy um a lot of your increase is going to come in the form of like finances because of you creating okay you creating something expanding something i'm seeing a pinwheel like and that's something with sewing or crocheting or something of that nature because i'm seeing a wheel um or it could be like the wheels that be on um on the bolts when they the wheels that turn you may see like a little boat figurine with one of those wheels on the front mm, there you go in it it's something about something that you're going to see for the first time and the meaning of it is like you're in it's like that's the indication of this session of you are stepping into like this absolutely new timeline okay and this absolutely new timeline is why you're seeing things that you've never saw before. It's why you're experiencing energies you've never experienced before. It's why you be up here tingling and stuff and all these things like you've never done before. Okay? Your grandmother energy wants you to know that you are in a season of pleasure. You are experiencing the pleasure that she never got a chance to experience. And so that's why it's like, but you're the one who's open for it. And so all of these things are just indications. Some of y'all are going to see like a gardener snake or something, and you're not even going to be afraid of it. You're going to see it as being a friend that it's helping you keep your garden good and clean and together for your fruits and vegetables to grow. It's like you living amongst creatures that you never realized you were living amongst. It's like a lot when we were talking about the reading the room energy. This is giving a lot of that, especially for my country folk. Okay. Heavy on my country folk. People that's down below the uh, child. You know, they say the Mason Dixon line was considered racist. But y'all get what I'm saying? Those who are below the um, that line. Strong, heavy energy. When you see these things happen, it's confirmation. Like, be in awe and let it be confirmation of this new timeline that you're in. Don't go back to the old one, y'all. Many go back to the old one out of fear. Okay? It's like, let me give you this. So, for example, sometimes people, they get on a new timeline. They start winning. And then they can get like prideful with it and not realize that they're not safely on that new timeline. But because of the energy they're around, they're on that timeline. But once they shift their energy and they start going back to the old things they used to do or being around people they used to be around, they realize they don't have that same winning energy that they had. And the reality is because they got too cocky and prideful. And it's just like you were in this winning energy because of the environment you were in. Don't shift that environment, baby. Okay, your environment means a lot at this time. 77, 777. You have Mullen coming out with the Ace of Fire in the reverse, though. Mullen is good for cleansing out your lungs. Hmm. That's action starting. I don't know why I'm hearing lights, camera action. <laughs> but it's in the reverse. So it's like, you don't have to set something on fire to make it happen. Like, it's something about you not approaching something from a passionate space, but from an emotional space. You approaching something from an emotional space, not a not a not a super passionate space. Because there's a different passion needs to always be excited and, and ignited. Emotional spaces goes with the flow, with the water. So sometimes the water just flows down a creek. Sometimes it goes down a small waterfall. Like it's different flows of the water. And it's something about you connecting with the flow and not just the passion. You know, something doesn't have to be just what you're passionate about. Okay. 
It could be something that moves you, something that makes you feel, something that makes you feel all the emotions, all the vibrations, because all of them matter. And some of you all may have been taught to not embrace certain emotions. And now you're in this space where you're learning how to embrace certain emotions with this, this switch. And with you switching and embracing another part of yourself, four of earth at the bottom with the willow is like, it's creating a new sense of stability and foundation for you than what you've never known. You've never known this. Cause I've never knew love like this before. Open my eyes. I never knew love like this before. What a surprise. Okay. Like, there's something that you never knew before, and it's because you never tapped into it before. But now you're tapping into it. Let me put some more water in here. Now you're tapping into it, I'm hearing. And because you're tapping into it, this new part of yourself, this new energy that you're tapping into, dang, I need some more water. Child, all I got is empty water bottles. <laughs> I thought I brought some water over here with me when I started. No, nope, I left it over there. Dang, I ain't really got no water. I have been drinking some water. I have been drinking. I have been drinking. Let me go grab this water. Woo! What animal y'all been seeing for the first time? Like something that hasn't been normal. You've been seeing different types of birds. Oh yeah, crows are messengers from the other side. Wow, and these are animals that y'all have never seen before? Or are these just animals y'all just saw? Are these animals y'all haven't seen before? Because you remember, we getting into the energies of what you haven't seen before, the new timelines. I just want to make sure before I pull up the energy of it. Hey, Nikki Poo. Okay. Ooh. A rabbit is a lunar symbol. The rabbit has ancient links with fertility and rebirth. Its alertness, speed, and timidity made it a symbol of vigilance, fleeing temptation. Ha, he said I own this. <laughs> he said I own this. Wow.
Okay, a coyote. In American Indian culture, the wily coyote here as a warrior's mask is seen as a trickster, transformer, a teacher, and cultural hero. It signifies both folly and wisdom and the balance between the two. Mm. All right, the crow. Like the raven, the carrion eaten crow has negative symbolism in Europe and is linked to bad luck, death, and evil. However, American Indians see it as a creative, civilizing, and solar bird. In Japan, the crow symbolizes family and love, while others associate its plucking out eyes from carrion with the devil blinding citizens. That ain't how I view it, okay? Um, in most cultures, it represents the sun and wisdom and in others, darkness and destruction. But in, with American Indians, they saw it as a creator and a trickster. Who it all depends on who writes your history, honey, okay? Let me get my um bird book. Ooh! Where my candy is? I love some candy. I want to love you. Pretty young all right let me see if i could pull up blue jay from here okay i don't see blue jay but i see blue bird One of these. That usually means something need to be cleaned up. Because raccoons typically go where it's like trash and like things they could try to like eat on. So some probably need to be cleaned up. And I'm not even just talking about like in like reality. It could be spiritual. Something needs to be cleaned up. Is that the bluebirds you're talking about? Oh, okay, I see Eastern Bluebird. Oh, wait, hold on. But no, you had said Blue Jay.
Okay, whoever said the Blue Jay, I don't see nobody responding back to it, so I'm going to just leave that alone. I love it, June. Because I was just saying that was the next thing I was about to put it up. No, you're not going to be able to send pics. I would say the biggest thing, connect to it on what it's trying to, like what you feel that it's trying to tell you. I know I'm about to start putting food out. I mean, fruit for them and the butterflies. But that was the grandmother message. If anyone is interested in a personal reading, check out my website at monacole.com. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have not hit thumbs up on the video and you enjoyed this message, go ahead and hit the thumbs up on the video. Share it out with your peoples. Um, make sure to check out the pinned comment of my new channel in which I'll be sharing actual steps um, towards things and growth over there. And as soon as I hit 1K over there, I will start releasing content over there. That is my boundary for the channel, okay? Um, once we hit 1K, I'll start posting content over on that channel. And so definitely make sure you are subscribed to that channel, Doctress Mo over there. And um, what else? That's the vibe. I think I'm going to leave the ancestor messages at those two. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to separate these two messages and upload them separately um, for you all to tap into because it was a lot instead of doing like timestamps and stuff. So I think I'm going to separate them into two different messages. Um, thank you all for being here. Definitely check out the Butterfly School of Transformation. Enrollment ends on Saturday. Um, we have two different cohorts. Um, both cohorts do include the ceremonies that I do with the full moon and the new moon, um, or you can purchase them a la carte. But definitely check out the membership for the cohort. Um, cohort one, we're starting from the basics of understanding yourself from your birth chart, reading birth charts, understanding tropical and sidereal, as long as, um, as well as different pieces of Vedic astrology as a well. Um, going into personality, understanding yourself from semester one, and we're going to be building onto content. Now, the advanced um, is the one that have all of the course content already, and you're more so going to have to go through it on your own, and it includes coaching, but the coaching does require for you to um, watch the prerequisite courses before the coaching session, because it's a certain place where you would need to be to understand the coaching and where we're at. So definitely check that out. Get registered before the Saturday, Saturday night is when it closes. I don't know when Saturday night it closes. I'm going to check and look and see. But um, get that enrolled, all that jazz. Um, thank y'all for being here. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what your higher self and your spirit teams is calling for you to do. Pre it. I love y'all. And I will see y'all later.